Guys, it's not going well. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I bit off more than I could chew. All right. Never good to weld in a thunderstorm, so. I can't do any welding on the array. You know, it's not safe. This morning, I can now um, put the bracket in over here. That will support the bottom part of the confiner box. We got the confiner box in, so I know the dimensions now, and I can put that that bottom bracket in and weld it on. And then uh, after that, I can start putting the unistrut on on top of these rails and weld all those in, so that we can actually start finally bolting down solar panels. Oh, and this is not my new hat. This is Natalie's hat. She has mine in the car and drove away with it. So, no laughing. My hat. I guess that means mom's home. You can have this tiny <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. It's time for the strut. Now I have a bunch of new strut sitting right over here, but I've got some strut. Most of this I got from the scrap yard. And this one is probably the most, most beat up. It's just squished in. It's about, looks like about a 10 foot stick, full stick. So I don't have a torch to heat this up. That'd be nice to have um, for instances like this, and I'd buy one, but I just don't see myself using it that much, that often. So I'm going to try to beat this out, pry it out with some, some hammers and pry bars. Right here? All over. Are you just being rude? Uh, no. I guess I could see some spots for Rick. Right. That works really hard. Good, good job. That's, like that's a good start. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's amazing. We got like a low spot there. Anyway, we'll, we'll rake some more. But, look at that. We got our first two struts out of like, yeah, thanks Eli. <laughs> Thought about it as as I did it. First two out of like, I don't, I don't remember how many, like 20 sticks or something.
it's only 657 and the sun has gone down already and it's overcast so that doesn't help either so getting dark earlier Can you see anything over there? What? Nope. I'm done with the generator. Can you turn it off? Good morning. So Natalie is going to be gone for most of the day. And I'm talking quiet because she's still here. Anyway, last night we got up one, two, three, you know, over that way. What, oh, where is it? Up there. Three 10 foot sticks of strut. And I got one more to add onto that row. And there's a total of four rows of strut on these rails here and then over on the other side of the V. I'm going to try my darndest to get all. Of the strut done today and uh, cause she, she doesn't she thinks she needs to stay and help to get it done which it is kind of hard to do alone but I'm gonna try and get it all done and the goal is to the ultimate goal is to hopefully get it done before she's done doing her stuff in town so wish me luck Guys, it's not going well. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I bit off more than I could chew. There's no way I'm gonna get all this done. <laughs> it's definitely a, a two-person job. If I'm lucky, I'll get half of it done, half of the unit strut done. Let me show you what's going on. So, you already saw I got that last piece up there. And then this whole time I've been working on the next row um, and I can't just put one side up and start welding all the way across. I have to put the other side up to make sure they match to make sure one's not overhanging the middle here more than the other. And, uh, it's kind of hard by myself, but uh, I set up this, uh, this string line here all the way down to here that I tack welded this on. It's temporary. So that'll come off. And then uh, I got the string at the top rows of strut there. So, but man, getting these two pieces in line, that took a while. <laughs> and lots of clamps. Okay, back to welding. wilderness workout you're doing? Yeah. You and cleans with a big old branch? That's so much easier with two people to get these. These first two are the hardest. All right. 
never good to weld in a thunderstorm, so I gotta wrap it up until this thing passes over. It's unfortunate. See how he's coming. I just got back from errands in town. I haven't been helpful at all today. How's it coming? Not as far as I wanted to be. Oh man. You're already back. Hmm. I had a rain delay. Oh, did you? Yeah. Rained out here. Yeah, it, was, it was sprinkling, but it thundering. When all this steel gets wet, it's pretty dangerous. Mm. And then the, you know, the lightning. <laughs> so I had to stop for a little while. And anyway, day's not over yet. I, it's well, maybe I can still reach my goal. What's your goal? <laughs> well, my goal was to do the whole thing. Full sides. Yeah. Mm. All the strut. It's not looking too good though. It's, I mean, what is it like? past four o'clock. I don't know. But those clouds aren't looking like they'll help you out either. Well, they've been hanging around. Yeah? yeah. The hardest part is getting started at the point. After that, it goes pretty quick going down. Yeah. So, I only have, we only have one more to set. Mm -hmm. and, and this then, side will go fast then. And finish extending that bottom one. All right. So it looks like this side will go super fast. Since you already got the first yeah. ones done. Well, I did not meet my goal. I ran out of welding wire. Anyway, check it out. I was trying to, I got two more sticks to weld in on that bottom row. I was trying to get that done before I lose all light. So, I guess, let's see, I got a little bit on this side, so I'm, I'm about halfway, a little, little more than halfway still, so not too bad, even with a two-hour rain delay. Sad day today. It has just been raining on and off. And so I can't do any welding on the array. Need my tripod. Oh, I got a lot of mud on my shoes. I can't do any welding on the array. You know, it's not safe to weld on wet metal. So I'm grabbing my gear. I'm gonna start running wire in the shed. I got some outlets we want in there, so, and the rain is picking up again. See you inside. Eli, that's a huge nail. What are you doing? Hammer. Huh? Is this a, is this a construction worker playground? Or something, huh? What do you have to say for yourself?
I'm just kidding. You you can keep nailing that. Go ahead. Let's keep keep nailing. No, wait, 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 wait till my I'm done with this clip. All right, so look who's here. <laughs> we did pick up the welding wire this morning when it wasn't raining, and then we got back. Like I said already, rain, rain, rain. So we're ready to weld. We just can't weld. Stop. We're gonna run, I don't have any of the wiring for this yet, unfortunately, but uh, we can't, I do have some wire for this, for the AC side. We're gonna run some wire down here and put some outlets over here. The plan is? Washer, dryer, dryer, freezer. Yep. Freezing. That'll free up a ton of space in here. Let's do it. Check it out. We got most of the wiring ran. This outlet is gonna be for our water pump that's gonna go right here. And so there's gonna be some piping and then our filtering system, I, I think I'm gonna put on the wall right here or maybe over here, not sure yet. And that is for the washing machine. It'll kind of back up against the uh, water pump so there'll probably be like a foot gap between it and the wall. And we have this for our freezer. This is just a service outlet. I'm thinking maybe we'll need a little bit of heat in here for the winter time. Because the batteries will be right here. I'm going to build an insulated box for them. And uh, if need be, they got those uh, heater mats that you can put on them. So it'll plug in there if it's necessary. So that's what I've been up to. It was rainy all day yesterday. It was nuts. And uh, I wanted to get these boxes in just to kind of tidy this up and give the chance, the mud a chance to dry up. So I think it's dry enough. It's time to finish welding on the Unistrut. Can't wait to get that done. Let's go. Just kidding. Okay, this half of the array of the strut is on and complete, other than um, wire wheeling and putting down some more, uh, what's that gray stuff called? Um, the gray paint stuff. Galvanize. Hey, yeah, there we go. This thing's squeezing my head a little too hard. Ugh. But yeah, check it out. Now you're probably wondering, what does he mean he's halfway done? There's no strut across the bottom. Well, there will be strut down there. It's just not going to happen this time around because we don't have that many panels. That, my friends, is for the future. The 
future expansion of the array. So this is just phase one. And uh, we'll be adding more, twice as many, by the way, at least once the house is built. Well, that's gonna be a while though. So there it is. That side's done. This side's got a good start to it. It shouldn't take long if the weather holds out, which I think it will, I should be able to get all that strut on today.